everybody, welcome back to Bentley House. I'm Aira and today I'm going to be giving you a tour of my miniature shelves. Back when I did a studio tour, I asked you guys if you would like a closer look at my miniature shelves and so that is the video I'm sharing with you today. You might be saying, Aira, I thought you were going to be working on your Adams Family project really hard and um, last few videos haven't had anything to do with the Adams Family. Well, I would say, you're right. <laughs> I did say that. But the next project I want to do on the Adams Family is going to take me a couple weeks to finish. So I'm kind of filming this filler video showing you my miniature shelves while I work on that project which is a little bit more complicated and I hope for that to be my next, like not this week that you're watching now, but next week's video to show you what I have been working on there. So in the meantime, I really hope you enjoy this tour. These are the three shelves that I'm going to be sharing with you today. I'm not going to be telling you about every single miniature because that would just take forever. I will probably be pointing out a few. It doesn't mean the ones I'm not talking about don't mean anything to me. I'm just picking out ones that I just think you guys might be interested in. But if you have any questions about any specific ones, you can leave them in the comments. This first shelf I purchased in an antique store and I believe this is a German saying and I think it says something about small things. I looked it up once but if I have any German um, speakers who would like to inform us all of what this says instead of me trying to um, get it from Google Translate that would be fantastic. You can leave that in the comments. One thing I'll show you on this one is this little painting or photo right here. I actually photoshopped my face and my husband's face on this vintage 1920s wedding photo and eventually it will go into my Bentley Manor project which you guys haven't really seen yet. I did try to style these shelves a little bit. You can see the doily in the background of that square. I didn't get super far on that. <laughs> I hope to do a little bit more in the future. So this piece right here I have a video on and I'll put that in the iCard if you want to see. It's just some um, doll teapot stacked together with flowers in it. This little wizard my father gave me and eventually I think he might go in the Adams Family graveyard if I have room for him. Down here I have a little fisherman guy and he used to sit in a bonsai that my husband purchased a while ago but when the bonsai died I took him out. Some of these items are not exactly miniatures, but they mean something to me, so they ended up on the shelf. I just recently acquired these two dogs sitting on either side of this stove, and I thought they'd be cool to go on the side of like a doorstep or something, but I think they might be dogs that are pooping. So you can tell me, are these pooping dogs? because I don't know what project I would put these in if they're actually, if that's what they're doing. This next shelf was a more recent purchase, again from an antique store. I hope to someday perhaps shingle it, paint it, to make it look a little bit more in my style. So on this top shelf, I have another painting thing I wanna show you. It's this little guy and it's a Playbill from the play Cluedo and I want this to also go into Bentley Manor because it's supposed to be a play off of Body Manor from the game Clue and so I put Bentley House Theater Presents and then I had some signatures at the bottom there as if they were in the play. On this second shelf uh, something I want to point out is this little toy box my husband actually made this for me and in the side he scratched in the name Adams as if Wednesday and Pugsley had scratched their name into their toy box so that needs to go into the Adams family house. You probably recognize this guy from my recent tutorial. This is also more of a styled shelf where I've put a lot of time in arranging things so that they look aesthetically pleasing. So if you have any questions about the items on this shelf, please sure to leave them in the comments and I will try to answer them if I know which item you're talking about. And 
and my final shelf is not quite as styled it's more of a holding place and yeah I'll show you that one next so as I just said this shelf is less of a styled shelf it's more of a place where I'm holding things before they go into a miniatures project again some of these are not miniatures some of them are actually from vending machines but they hold memories for me and um, I enjoy looking at them even if they don't quite have a home yet couple things I'll point out here. Here's some of my first books that I ever made. Here's a bowl I made. I have a little Texas. Down here I have a couple vending machine little statuettes and those I purchased from those 25 cent vending machines when I was thinking I was going to do some kind of toy room but so far they have just been sitting around on the shelf. And these little bottles of sand are from a family trip to Mexico. So up here at the top of the center of the shelf I have several uh, pencil sharpeners and a lot of times you can find these and they have a very industrial look and so I really like to collect those and I hope to someday do a Munster's house so I have this little cuckoo clock to maybe go into the Munster's house someday. This little guy here actually I found in my cubicle at one of the jobs that I felt was just destroying my soul and so I kept that little guy he was my one piece of whimsy from that job and uh, he means a lot to me just to remind me of uh, I don't know that job I guess <laughs> so here's a little closer up look some of these you might recognize from the grab bag that I got so I'm just holding on to them until I find something to do with them. A lot of these are like little shelf pieces like lamps or statuettes. There's a little pickled egg jar. It's one of my daughter's toys. That little knight from a chess um, set I found in the middle of Fort Worth, just laying on the ground when I was on a date with my husband, and so I kept that, just put it on my miniature shelf. I did look for the owner of the chess set, but he was no longer there, so. So here's the last side of my random holding miniatures tray. And as you can see, there's a lot of similar pieces here. This is actually the um, cream and black pieces are from a chess set that was very badly destroyed so I kept the good pieces I got it from a garage sale so they might be little statuettes in a scene and see I had a little Lego person or Duplo person I guess from my son and that's about it that is a simple overview of my miniature trays and I will show you, hold on for a little camera ride here, but I do have another one sitting up here. Um, these are vintage trays and what I've found is they're not very deep so I have difficulty using them to store many things. So I have a lot of things that are not on these trays. I actually prefer these shelves over here because they're a bit deeper and so I have things in storage that you aren't seeing here but these are the things that I have out I do enjoy being able to see them while I'm working and also coming over here if I need a little something to fill up a scene I can come over and see what I have I'll also just give you a quick scan of my shelf above it has my half scale cuckoo clock project a weeping angel a hand and a little model ship so that's all my shelves in here. I will show you one more bonus shelf that actually resides in another hallway in the house. Um, it is a shelf that holds a collection from when I was a child, but it is miniatures, kind of. All right, so over here I have, sorry for the lighting, we're in a hallway and I've got to hand hold this uh, video camera. This is a Brown and Ashley Tea Company shelf. I don't know this company, but I really liked the shelf. 
So when I was younger, I collected elephants. So I have elephants from all over the world. When people would go travel, um, they'd bring me back an elephant. And uh, even my own family's travels, I have some, like this one is from Africa. I believe this one's from Brazil. This one's also from Africa. I believe this one, no, this one might be from Saudi Arabia. Uh, this one's from China. So they're really from all over. This one's from Disney World. So I actually had quite a large collection. And these are the ones that I have kept. So here are the real miniature ones. So I will open this case for you. So here is my miniature elephant collection. And as you can see, I have kept quite a few. The bigger ones I've had to give away just because I don't I didn't have room for them. But I definitely decided to keep these guys. Uh, I spent a lot of time collecting them, so I just couldn't part with all of them. I wish I had kept better detail about where they were all from. Some of them I can remember. But some of them I cannot. I do know that this one is from Canada when we went up to Niagara Falls. It's got a Canadian coin in it, so that one is definitely easy to remember. Um, who else can I remember? This one is from Italy when I went to the island of Murano where they make the uh, Venetian glass. And who else? These are, I believe, from Peru. This guy's from Chinatown in Chicago. We used to live close to there. So yeah, they're just from all over. And a nice reminder of friends and family and trips. So I really enjoy having them in my home. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm sorry it was short and not a tutorial or anything. But I hope you liked seeing a little view into my miniature shelves and uh, my childhood collection of miniatures, kind of a different kind of miniatures, but yeah. I hope you guys will be back next week to see what I am currently working on for the Adams Family, and I'll see you then. Bye. Okay, so, so even when I'm up here and then it gets real messed up when I get down there. Wow. Alright, that's okay. No, it's not. Whatever. I do not understand. Why is everything so crooked? <laughs>